I don't know why that's continuing to play. Interesting. Let's see. Did, no, I may have to delete my my trailer. That is so bizarre. Let's see. Did, did that no. work? No, I may have to delete my my trailer. That is so bizarre. Okay, and it's still Let's is see. it still looping? Did that no. work? No, I may have to delete my my trailer. Wow. That is so bizarre. Okay, and it's still, Let's is it still see. looping? Did that no. work? No, I may have to delete my, my trailer. Wow. That is so bizarre. Okay, peoples. Okay. And it's still, Let's is it still see. looping? Did that work? No. I, I don't know it. what's happening. Wow. Did it finally catch up with itself? I have no idea what was going on. I had to finally delete my trailer. I don't know what happened. I did everything the same way as usual. I thought did I was going to catch up with itself. I have no idea what was going on. I had to finally delete my trailer. I don't oh. know what happened. I did everything the same way as usual. I thought did I was going to catch up with itself. I have no idea. What was going on? I had to okay. delete my trailer. I don't oh. know what happened. I did everything the same way as... Susan is a ding dong. Hello, everybody. Yeah, Twilight Zone, that's for sure. Hello. I do know what I did. Yes, I had two screens open, Gail. It was hidden way at the far end. <sighs> Dang, I sure hope I have another copy of that trailer. Otherwise, that's going to be a real disappointment to me. All right. Hello. Happy Wednesday. Nothing like getting off to a whole lot of fun, right? Uh, let's see here. Who's here? Michelle, Terry, Gail, Victoria, Sandy, Jackie, Sue Brown. Yeah, Spook's in the computer. No, Spooky Susan. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Barbara. Yeah, it was all me. It was all me, all fixed now. Hi, Philippa, Andrea, anybody that I scared away. <laughs> hey, Fiona. Yeah, and our clocks change um, this weekend for us here in the States. For those of us that change, I don't know that everybody's changing. Yeah, we should be better now. Well, we're, we're as synced as we're going to get, I think. Uh, I think there might also be some lag. Yeah. I, I messed up. Sound and picture are way off. Hi, Kathy. Oh, boy. Well, I can turn my face off. That's not a problem. Um, let me go back over here. Um, let's see if it's less bothersome when I'm like this. Hopefully. Hey, Sharon, you missed all my excitement. See if that's better. Wow. Okay. Adrenaline rush. I was thinking I was going to be cold sitting here. I am. They're not. Things are not out of sync now. They're better. And I can always turn off my face. You don't need to look at my face. I know what you want to see is down here on the table. So before I show you that, though. I did finish this vessel. If you haven't seen the video. And I'm really proud still out of sync well i can um just out of his okay oh fiona you're recovering from covid still oh susan hiles is recovering from covid yikes boy 
Well, let me know if you guys want, I will just turn off my face. Don't look at my face, look at the table. <laughs> so yeah, there's, I'm very proud. It's a very short, like four minute video. You might want to go over and see after this live because I am very proud of the video that I did for this. So it's all done and I am just really, really happy with it. Thank you guys. All right. Whew. So what I want to do is make a new book. And rather than making my typical little books like my, um, like my, my just because books, I mean, it's still, uh, thank you, Fiona. She says that video was fabulous. Thank you. Hey, Lori. Um, it's still a just because book. It's just the structure is going to be different instead of making it where I just stitch it in the center with a pamphlet stitch. I'm going to do something different. So what I did is I, this was a long strip of fabric. Okay. So it was a long strip of fabric. That's, I don't know. What is this? It's probably about four inches. Yeah. It's about four inches um, tall. And I just, I folded it in half and cut it on the fold. Okay. Then I took just one piece of it and folded it into thirds. And I cut that one piece so that I would have three pieces this size and then one piece that was still the same, but still attached. And the reason I wanted to play like this is I've had a few people um, contact me and say that, you know, they love to do these kind of fabric books, but they really, um, they don't like when they do them and they see all the stitching on the other side. Okay, so this is a way to put together a fabric book and not have to worry about seeing those stitches. And it gives you a little bit of freedom with perhaps what you might want to do. So this is going to end up being, um, I guess it'll be like six pages, but I'm calling them three pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch on just one side of each of these. And then I'm going to stitch on the outside of that. And then when I put it together, get my pins and I will just show you. Victoria is reminding people, thumbs up. Thank you for that. When I stitch it together, I will stitch it here. Here. And it could, it doesn't have to be a pamphlet stitch. It could be a straight stitch. You could do just a couple knots. And then I will stitch it <coughs> all the way around the outside. So I could fold in each side here. And I can fold in this side here. And then I'm going to have this beautiful embroidered feeling on the outside. Okay. So that means not worrying about the backside. If you're, you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't want to see the backside. I don't want to, you know, you could always do another piece of fabric over the back of it, but then you just keep building it up. And I thought, well, this would just be fun. Um, one part scroll one part book, I guess. I don't know. It's still a just because book because I'm making it just because it makes me happy. Now here's the, the art by committee idea. Okay. Art by committee is I'm torn. Well, I'm torn in several ideas. Oh, I'm glad you like the concept, Sue. Um, one thought I had, but I, I know I'll have difficulty sticking with it is to make it completely slow stitched. And I might do another one where it's completely slow stitch, or I could do this one that's all slow stitch, but I, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to play with it, but I am thinking perhaps, let's see, I think this is the outside. I'm going to do just stitching on the outside, maybe, you know, feather stitching and knots, twig stitching and knots, that sort of thing. And then I can dress up the inside. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Or should I do the whole thing? See if I do the whole thing in slow stitch, I can't use all this fun stuff to play with. So yeah, that's probably not going to happen. But I do think the outside's only going to be slow stitched because that'll give me that wonderful texture, sort of like um, 
this just because book just has the seed stitch on it and it this feels nice but this feels really different i really like it all right so yeah good in the moment as i tackle each page you're right so I think it'll probably be more interesting for you guys if I tackle the inside pages and I can do the slow stitching off camera. Yes, it's. I'm gonna work on each one as a full inside spread. I don't know what I'm gonna add, maybe clusters, Michelle, um, but I, I'm gonna treat it as though it's, you know, if I was making a journal, this would be my inside spread. <laughs> I'm not going to delete your comment, Sandy. I'm just going to play. And I think I want to do a book that's completely slow stitch, but I think it's probably not going to be this one because I also want to take, when I put the pages together, okay, I'm going to tell you guys ahead of time now. Well, I'll do it with this. When I put the pages together and I sew the front to the back, then I want to do um, cheesecloth that's in between there because these colors would go perfect with it. Yes, doing it just because. That's it, Lori, because if we try to do it some for some other reason, at least for me, I can only speak for myself. When I try to do it for some other reason, I get way hung up, um, way hung up on the wrong things, and I often can't finish. Hey, Shauna. Okay, I need a lot of hydration today. That messing myself up with the, the double window. So sorry about all that. Please cross your fingers that I still have a copy of my trailer somewhere. I don't want to have to make it again. All right. Um, so let's lay out. And in the very center, I think I want to use this on one just because it's so cool. And it's probably going to get attacked with the seam ripper. Do we have, we don't have more than one Sandy, do we? Oh, okay. You guys, you guys playing around with me. And when I don't look up in time. Um, that's the same doily, so we don't want to use that. Yes, um, Sue, before I came on, I actually recorded without any voice one, but I think what I'm probably going to do is make, I'll take, um, whatever, I'll take another piece, a strip of it, and I'll just put together a template, and that way it'll be just a short little, you know, five minute video that shows the concept. So you won't have to rewatch the whole thing. Although I'm looking um, at the lives and I think I can go back later and add chapters and that might help sometimes. All right. Uh, all right, so that's the same doily, that's the same doily. I don't wanna repeat myself because it's only a few pages. Well, maybe I only use the doily in the center. Ah, you usually call her Big Mama rather than Sandy. Yeah. So maybe we just build up. Okay, let's just make sure everybody that you are in live chat and not top chat so that you catch up with everything in real time. Okay, this side's got a little bit more of the gold in it. Hey, Susan, how are you feeling? Are you on the mend, I hope? Actually, I think that's what I'll do. I will do a little video after this, and it'll go up tomorrow that will just show the concept. And hello to the secret squirrels. Appreciate that. Lori says, popped in for the wrap sticks and haven't left yet. I love it. I love it. Yeah, and I um, I actually was going to do this one differently, and I was going to do wrap sticks on the cover, and then I came up with this idea, and I thought, well, you're feeling stronger every day. Well, that's good. I hope nobody else that we know, I hope, I just hate that everybody's getting knocked down. All right. Okay, so while I'm I'm going to be playing around with what's going to go with this doily, um, I'll see. Now, do I want to? No, I'm not going to do the edges until I sew it to the background. Let me know what you guys are doing. 
All right, it's a little too perfect, so we're going to rip her up. Yeah, everybody's sending you feel better wishes, Susan. All right, oh, one more over here. Yeah, I like that better already. Be free, little doily. Let's see. So, hi, Anne. You are making a collage pattern of a purple cornflower. Ooh. Yeah, let me know, guys. What are you working on? Fiona found her clan. I love it. I did iron down the center, so I kind of would remember where the center was on here. Um, so this could be a cluster. It could, it could. If you saw the little short that I posted or over on, uh, I think I also put it on Instagram. Um, you know, I just wanted to start grabbing things that were in this color palette. And then suddenly I just, I had so much stuff out there that there was no way I was going to be able to use it all. So Ooh, I like that. All right. So maybe the center is the green. Sharon's been awake since 2.30 a.m. Just trying to stay awake. Oh, my goodness. Jackie's folding clothes. I've got laundry drying. Sue says, I've been building quilt blocks. This morning I've sewn borders to the quilt top I'm currently working on. Wow. Yeah, Sharon, I saw that you'd posted in our circle um, really early. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I hate those days when you can't sleep. Huh. All right. I've done that with the doily and now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking maybe I want to do. Michelle slept in, had coffee and apples. Why? Hi, Sherry. Gail is working on a new cloth book journal that's going to be. Wait a minute here. A record of all the embroidery stitches I've done. That's great. I've learned. Sharon says, I've barely done any creating for about two weeks. I think I'm having withdrawal. I need an intravenous line for that. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Philippa, that's fabulous. She said, I sold nine of my needle books to a shop last week, went on holiday. She's selling them as earring books. <gasps> Philippa, what a beautiful idea. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I would have loved that when I was traveling to have, oh, that is a perfect idea. Hey, Barbie. <coughs> Terry's pricing ornaments. Yes, congratulations, Philippa. Do we have Philippa's blog on the list? Um, I hope we do. I'm going to be posting a link. Um, Philippa, it's funny. I knew about you before you found me, and I, it took me a while to put together the stitching always with you because I had saved your encrusted embroidery post that was so well done. See, now I'm thinking maybe I just do this. It seems not as heavy as this one. Huh. All right. If I do that in the center spread and I can add beads and little things. Okay. I kind of like that idea for the center. I'm going to put that one aside. All right. And then I'm going to look at these two only because I know when I'm doing that kind of couching, that's kind of random like that. I need to really concentrate. So I want to make sure I have the other stuff taken care of. Okay. I tried to not bring out all the scraps that went in these colors. You don't have it. Okay. Um, her uh, stitching always is her Instagram. Philippa, is your um, your blog also stitch? Oh, there we go. All right. Thank you. Um, no, that's her YouTube. Your sister can sell ice to an Eskimo. That's fabulous. Is your blog the same name, Philippa?
Barbie says, Susan Hiles, thanks for the info on the fabric store. They reopened their online portal for a bit. Oh, awesome. So you found you found a new source. Um, before I had my crazy thing with the having two windows open, I did post the November Zooms. Okay, so if somebody can go to Philippa's blog, which is Stitching Always, and grab that link. Because she's got, um, and if not, I'll if not, I'll post it in the group after this. Because I want people to see um, the great explanation she did of how to do some of the encrusted embroidery that we had talked about a while back. All right, I'm I'm kind of at a loss. Maybe I'm feeling called to do stitches. Maybe that's what this is going to turn out to be, anyways. What was the um, fabric store, Barbie? I'm behind on everything. I'm not even going to pretend that I'm not. Maybe it's going to be couching and stitching. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm not feeling the urge to do clusters in here. I think because I just finished the two black and white books and then I did another book. I've got those videos to put together. And... Uh, I'll post a link to the actual post that I'm talking about in the group after this. I just finished, so the three books and a bunch of clusters in them, and maybe I'm just not feeling clusterly. Huh. This one should be more yellow and this one should be more green. She is a temptress with her shares of fabric. She really is. I just am so so behind on all my um, catching up on videos. I feel horrible because you guys are so wonderfully loyal here and trying to do too many things at once. That's it, Gail. Thank you. So there's Philippa's blog, and I don't remember what the post is called, but it's about encrusted embroidery. Um, she's got a great blog anyways with lots of her details about it all. So thank you both. No, I don't want to do lace. Interesting. I am not feeling called to the lace. And I don't know why. Aunt Henry. Okay, so that's the website. Um, encrusted rocks. Okay, so when you go to Philippa's um, blog, look for the post called Encust Encrusted Rocks. All right, let's see. Two green. So you know me, there's a lot of fiddling around before I actually thread the needle. It's just really interesting that I'm not feeling called to clusters. Hmm. Had to have the watercolor swatch fabric. Oh, my. Well, we love enablers. We do. We love enablers. Yep, not feeling the call for the lace. That is really interesting. Huh. Well, now I have a different idea. Now I'm thinking... Hmm, maybe I do the couching on both sides and embroidery in the center. That is sort of feeling, okay, that's feeling like more what I want to do. So I can couch round it, random there. And on this side... What am I going to use? So it's, it's all about the texture, right? For me, that's what most all of my creations are about. Okay, so Aunt Henry is going to get a lot of attention for us from us. Wait a minute here. What else? I'm, I'm thinking I'm missing something. No, I guess not. 
Barbie says, I'm probably lucky they don't have their full store online. Yeah, that was me the other day when I was doing some um, shopping for beads. I did figure out, I can actually show you. I'm going to keep one of, of each of the different size. Yeah, I Maybe you haven't pulled enough supplies. To, yeah, no, I have more than enough. You watch that video. Um, oh, Fiona, you didn't see what I was doing. So it kind of, because then when I get these three pages sewn together, then I'm going to sew them into my longer piece. And I'll, I'll put a little instructional video up showing my, my idea. And then I'll put them in here. And then you don't have to worry about the back. It'll just all fold up together. So I only bought a few beads because I was really trying to understand what sizes worked best for me. And so what I realized I was calling bugle beads were not really bugle beads. And I don't know if you can see them because um, they're so sparkly. Let's see, do I have, ah, here we go. That's not quite as sparkly. All right, they're not really bugle beads. They are, um, I won't say this right, so forgive me, my Yuki Delica beads. And they, um, they're they like bugle beads, but I guess they're one of the better beads for absolute precision. So they look shaped like that. And so I was able to figure out, I just ordered a small, I found a place on Etsy that had the cheapest prices because I didn't want to, I wanted them quickly. So I could make up my mind. And, oh, I did say it right. Thank you. So uh, I just got a few. I need to start posting these pictures in my blog. I got to do that. You guys know I have a blog that I never post to, but I'm going to do more. And then what I'm going to do, since they came with these nice little labels on them, I'm going to leave one bead in each envelope. Um, no, these are a specific company that makes them under this uh, Delica bead brand and their precision cut. Yeah, I didn't see anything labeled short. So I'm pleased. I absolutely understand now what size beads I like working with and how that has made beading a really enjoyable experience for me. All right. I just want to pick one color. I, I would love to say I can do, you know, simple but evidently it's not in my wheelhouse yet. Yeah, they're, they're cubed and you can get them in different sizes so they get bigger, um, but it's like I was describing them as the smallest bugle bead and I didn't realize they really weren't bugle beads. So uh, I kept asking people what how to size bugle beads and I couldn't get to where I wanted to go with them. So I'm just so glad I ordered a few samples. Beth, hello, happy Wednesday. You have been on my mind because uh, my husband hasn't set his date yet. And so that means you and I just need to set a date so we can get together and catch up. Beth is one of my local friends. I know, I know Fiona, it's really funny to think that I'm doing something simple, but I'm gonna try, I wanna try. This feels like it's too yellow, so this is a no. If I can just eliminate things. So I'm gonna eliminate lace because it's not going that way. Yeah, the triangles didn't appeal to me for some reason. They might someday, but right now they didn't. Okay, so lace is going to go away. Beth and I live in the same town, so we actually get to get together in person. All right. I'm going to eliminate, and then I'll see what other colors I have left. This is a maybe. I, I kind of think I like this because it's got that airy look. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Okay, maybe I'll have to try one of the bright, one of the triangles. All right, I could. Joy sent me these and they are so interesting. They're little samples. If you ever see these in a store, in a thrift store, they're samples from um, wool carpet. And so they've just got all these great little colors. Andrea says, I like the sound of triangle beads. Yeah, I might have to check them out. 
These guys are maybe, but I kind of like this dropping everything on. Yeah, lucky Elizabeth, lucky me. She's got some amazing skills and I love that she shares them with me. Well, this is kind of kind of like what I want to go. Maybe this is going to be like a wiggle worm kind of thing. I don't know. Is it going to be boring? No, it's not going to be boring. It's not going to be boring. Are you working from home today, Beth? Are you in the office and getting some time? So I could combine some. All right. Again, as I'm finding lace, I'm going to take the lace away. Hey, Lucy, how are you doing? I haven't seen you here for a while. Uh, the colors are really awesome. Hmm. Ooh, I can mix thick and thin. Kind of like that idea. Hmm. Been cutting down on YouTube, living your real life. It feels too yellow. I think this has orange in it. That doesn't excite me. So, okay. Eliminating things are good. You're working from home. You're booking a trip to France next year. How exciting. Are you going to go with anybody, with friends or... My mom is going to Europe next year. All right, let's see. Kind of like mixing the golds, they're all different textures. You could add a little bit of gold there and then maybe add a little bit of green here. So we have a balance. Lucy said, after the pandemic, I've been getting out and about more off to India mid-November. Oh, how exciting. Do you have, um, have you been there before? Is that all a new area for you? I don't think I want to combine the colors. I don't know what, I've been doing this lately, really thinking in the same color families. All right. So this goes over there. See, this was going to be a page, and then I decided to go a different, I don't know. Oh, people. Okay, I need to make up my mind, right? See, and then I've got some ribbon. Two gold, but I think I have a yellowy ribbon that I can use and a green. I think I'm going to come back in and do some knots with that. Oh, so you've been to India a few times, already planning my shopping. Oh, how exciting. Wow, the fabrics. <sighs> okay. So I guess I'm going to couch. I guess that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Sharon says, fabulous, Elizabeth. We, 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 or is it we, we? <laughs> Sorry, it's the first thing that popped into my head. Apparently, I need more sleep. My mind gets silly when I'm sleep deprived. Yeah. Beth said, found a walking tour art group, going to flea markets, antique bookstores, museums, and then art classes in the afternoon. Heaven. Oh my goodness, that is so up your alley. You've exhausted all your United States ones, right? <laughs> Sue says, getting jealous of Lucy and Lisbeth. I was thinking about the hand block stamps, Lucy. She says, silks, hand blocked printed cottons, hand block stamps, and whatever else I fancy. Wow. Yeah, I was thinking about those blocks. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tick. Just two. We're going to a wedding. Oh, gosh. An Indian wedding will be beautiful, won't it? Uh-oh. What did I do? There we go. Terry said, just an FYI, because of everything is zooming by, I will be missing in action on Wednesdays until after Thanksgiving. Okay. Gotcha. Andrea said, I was lucky. I just bought two whole saris for two pounds. Oh, wow. 
That is lucky. I have a bunch of, um, I have a huge bin. I mean, like, like a huge bin, probably like three shoe boxes full of silk pieces that are uh, like a foot square, maybe a little bigger. Yeah, this is really cool. I, this will be this will be fun to couch. Elizabeth said, I just want to travel again. It's been way too long. Wow. And I have no desire. I'm glad my mom came here last month so we didn't have to travel. Ah, so you have to work in the co-op store. Okay. Um, note, I did put, for those of you that are late arrivals, I did put the Zoom sessions for November up. If it looks like we don't have a good turnout, it's okay. I'm debating not doing them in December. I'm not sure. Um, just We'll just see how November goes. All right, make up my mind, Susan. I've been yakking for a half an hour and not working, but that's okay. Yes, you will be missed. I need to um, I need to kind of play with things to figure things out. That's just the way it goes. I just want to figure out about how much I want. All right. That. This green is not going to work, so that's going to go away. Yeah, I'm sorting. I'm eliminating a lot of stuff. They were a market stall. I have to. I love to buy vintage. That's wonderful. Yeah, my mom, when she goes to Europe, I'm going to have to give her some ideas of things to look for for me. So I kind of like to just let things drop. And I'm going to treat, since these are the three center spreads, I'm going to treat them kind of like a collage. All right, and here's my ends. I do want to make my ends hanging down. Terry says, more likes, please. Sharon says, sometimes we just have to take time to become one with your materials and talk to each other until things start to fall into place. It's almost like a mating dance. Absolutely. Victoria says, how lucky you are. I really want some sari silks, but they're so highly priced these days. Yeah. Lucy said, Rachel on Roxy Creations is selling some vintage hanks of pearl. They are huge and look fantastic. Oh, my. Dang it, Lucy. That's my kind of enabling. 41 on top chat. Make sure you're on live chat to uh, stay in the loop. Appreciate all our secret squirrels out there. Always happy to have people join us. This is always so, I do have pins, but it's a small piece, so it should be easier. And yeah, it's going to be kind of an explosion, and I'm okay with that. I really am, I think. And I'm wondering if this is going to look too out of place in here size-wise. It just feels like scale isn't quite right. This is one page. Um, I'll go through my explanation again. I had one long strip of fabric. Andrea says, one of the saris is on my mannequin. It was not as easy as, oh, I modeled, put one on there. Yeah. And then I cut it in half. I set aside this long piece. Okay. The other piece I folded into thirds and cut them so that they would each become individual pages. And then they will get sewn into this longer piece. And I will put up a video tomorrow that's going to say a little more. This is more green. So that if I'm going to use it, it goes over here. Uh, oh, interesting. This might be something to put on the back side of each page, popping out. I feel like I want one more. I like threes. <clears throat> Barbie said, did anyone else see the fall edition of What Women Create? It's almost all fibers. Oh, no. I have to get down to Bookshop Santa Cruz and see if they have a copy. <sighs> Thanks for mentioning that, Barbie. 
So Barbie, how was the reunion? Did you have a good time? I mean, I know it was a lot of peopling for an introvert, but okay. It will not land this way when I'm stitching because that's just the way it goes with couching. Maybe we'll have a few things coming over the top. Lucy says, I want to make another quilt with Indian fabric and a journal with some Indian trims. Nice. I still have some um, Indian trims in my shop. If you are interested in fabric packs and trims and there's uh, botanical paper, there's all kinds of stuff in the shop. I'm thinking I might uh, close it for the month of December so that I don't have to worry about trying to ship um, while, you know, the holidays and shopping stuff gets, goes bonkers. Riri, what's this? This is going to be one page in a book. So I'm just going to couch it down. Welcome, Riri. I do not know that you've been here before. We are happy to have you join us. It was good. I almost backed out so many times, but just did it. So many funny things happened. Well, that's good. I'm glad it was good. And if you have been here before and I don't remember, I'm sorry. Old lady, old memory. Oh, thank you. Terry posted the link to my website and the shop is there. And yeah, the more I'm thinking about it, just because stuff seems to go missing, I'm going to close the shop for the month of December. I do not know if I will put any of the new art in there beforehand, but if you see something that I've done and you, you're interested, you can message me. I might wait to put the new stuff in after the first of the year. Lucy, it's been really nice. Um, I've been very fortunate with the support from people and I'm very happy. Uh, it works. <laughs> It's a lot better now that my wonderful husband has taken over doing the um, the final part of the shipping for me. I pack the stuff up and then I hand it to him with the the order. And he does the final packaging and the weighing and the figuring out the postal stuff. Well, I want to remember you, Riri. Barbie says, I definitely did well with the nerdy guy I married. Ah, nice. Nice. It was definitely worth my while. And now that we have it set up, it's much easier to, you know, put things in or like somebody, um, the, uh, the bigger vessel that I made with the couching, the, the kind of the turquoise one, somebody wanted to buy that. So I was able to just put that up in my shop, not have to deal with Etsy. You know, Etsy's still there. You know, it's for my digitals. But it's um, it's just really nice to have the web shop set up and my son doing all the coding for me. I used to do that years ago, and I just don't want to do it anymore. Victoria says, our post over here isn't reliable at the moment as Royal Mail are having loads of strikes. Yikes. Got quite an important letter today that was delayed from the 20th of October. Yikes. Oh, I know, Beth. I am so spoiled. He cooks, he does IT, and he ships for me. I am a spoiled gal. And he does all the shopping. Um, the only time I ever go in a grocery store is if he's not feeling well. He's got these long legs so he can race through there really quick. And, you know, I got short legs, so I kind of putter along. Okay. I think I'm okay with this. Lucy says, a post is a pain currently, isn't it, Victoria? We get letters about once a week. Oh, my. That's frustrating. Lucy said, my husband has started cooking. He's getting better at it. Hello, Helen. Welcome. Welcome. Happy to have you here. If it's a first time, welcome. If you're returning... Um, visitor, I'm sorry if I don't have an instant memory. 
It's cheaper if I shop. Oh, Andrea, that's funny. I could shop, but I wouldn't know. I, I just, I don't have the recipes in my head since he does the cooking. Just makes more sense for him to do things. So I have a feeling though, I'm on a bead kick lately. So I might use some of my new beads um, in here, but I might just come in after I get the couching down uh, and just add a bunch of knots because that is just so relaxing. Joanne said, and he's very handsome. I loved your wedding picture you posted. You looked fabulous. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah, I think he's a cutie. I am so lucky. Lucy says, hello, Helen. My youngest is called Helen. Yeah, we figured that out years ago. I'm much better handling dirty dishes and then loading the dishwasher and <clears throat> doing the laundry. That, that's my thing. Uh, let's see, I could zoom you in a little bit, couldn't I? That might be nice of me. If I go to, boy, I am just off my game today. It's crazy, said Victoria. I totally agree with the reasons for striking, but it's not good when really urgent letters are being delayed for two weeks. Thankfully, the appointment it referred to as next week. Oh, gosh, 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 gosh. That would be tough. Shopping and cooking go hand in hand. Yeah. Barbie said, when hubby shops, we never get fresh veggies for some reason. <laughs> and said, since I got COVID in August, I blame all of my memory lapses on it and not my age. Uh, Beth says, handsome and nice. I met him at Starbucks. That's sweet, Sue. Sue says, years ago, a friend of mine, wait a minute, um, made me a little quilt to hang on the wall. It says, I only have a kitchen because it came with the house. True. <laughs> I love it. Barbie said, I'm much better at reading the books and playing with the dogs, but alas, someone must cook. Oh, Lucy said, I used to do all the housework. Now my husband cooks something, does his own laundry, and does about 60% of the washing up and dishwasher. No one cleans. <laughs> yeah, Sharon, my face can't help but light up when I talk about him because he's the light of my life. I would not be the person I am today, I don't believe, without him. <clears throat> yes, thank goodness for supportive husbands. I have a tickle in my throat. We have walked some crazy roads together. Yeah, I was thinking beads and French knots, you know, little clusters of them. And I'm not going to do any couching on the outside of the books. I think it's only going to be the inside. Yeah, I would say, um, you know, 25 years ago, you wouldn't have wanted to hang out with me in a chat nearly as much. I was always so gloom and doom and looking at the wrong side of happy. Like a cute newlywed. It's been 23 years. Gail said, my hubby does all the outside work, does some laundry, does most of the vacuuming. We both cook. I do the rest. My hubby does the vacuuming. He has a thing for finding us the perfect vacuum that works well with the dog stuff and, you know, catching up all the dog fur and on the different carpet things. We've got two robot vacs, um, but with the, the dog that sheds all the time, <coughs> you also need a regular vacuum cleaner. All right, let's see. And so because you're not going to ever see the back of this, I don't have to worry about what I might do to cover this because the back of this is going to get sewn to the longer piece. And that's what, you know, makes it easier. The secret is not to have carpets. Yeah, you know, there's, I have pluses and minuses. Um, we have really dead carpet in the house right now. We haven't replaced it since we bought the house seven years ago and it was tired then. 
but we're actually going to replace the living room carpet with more carpet um, because of slipping. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of scary as you get older and you think about slipping and the dog is slipping. So we've got hardwood floors or um, tile everywhere else. But when we replace this room, I think we're going to do carpet again in here. Yeah, you still have to clean and sweep the floors, but it is a little bit easier without the carpet. It doesn't hold on to the fur nearly as much. But my husband goes over the um, the room, you know, with the regular vacuum cleaner, and then we run the well the run the robot in the bedroom a little bit more often. Bye, Shauna. Oh, wait a minute. Who did I miss got here? Hey, Diane, welcome. Happy to see your name today. Yeah, it's a scary thing to think about slipping. Um, you know, was it last year? It was two years ago, I guess. I don't know if some of you guys were around then when I fell. Um, fell once and then I fell a second time and just messed my shoulder up really, really bad. And it could have been my hip. It could have been so much worse. And now that I got a positive diagnosis of, you know, pretty heavy arthritis in my knees, I'm definitely concerned about it. Yes, the robot goes under the bed is a definite plus. That's for sure. It's been a while, Diane. It has. Well, glad that you were able to join us today. Barbie says, with three dogs, uh, the hardwood areas show the dog glitter more than the carpet does. I know it's just as messy, but not as visible. Yep, finger's just fine. Fully recovered. Um, arthritis is getting bad in this finger, so I can, you know, after a day of stitching, I definitely feel the pain there. You know, and that's just what happens with some of us as we get older. I guess some people aren't, aren't as troubled with it. Um, I'm grateful my mom at this point in her, or by, by the time she was this age, I think her arthritis was really bad in her hands. So I don't think mine's that bad yet. I'm grateful for that. Oh, Terry, it's your head. I'm always hitting my head only once this week. Oh boy. I can tell here looking at the screen, there's a lot of lag. Lucy says, excellent. I have very bad osteoarthritis in my knees and hips, waiting for my first hip op. My hands seem okay. Mm. Yeah, I imagine there's going to be knee operations in my future. Uh, but he told me, you know, the knees most of the time aren't bad. Um, I can tell what's going to set it off now so I can better control it. But he said it's, it's just dependent on me quality of life and you know i can go in and get a steroid shot or something if i need to but i'm hoping that i can put off having a replacement it would be really nice to not have to go through that gail said i don't know what i did to make my left hip so bad the past couple of days but i'm having trouble even walking today oh ouch you know the certain things that we um we i don't know that we take them for granted but we just don't realize when I had the uh, broken blood vessel in my eye recently, you know, and I started thinking about, um, you know, not being able to see in that eye and that just kind of, that freaked me out more than anything else. I have not tried the hydraulic lubricant injections. He did say that was an option, um, but he said it was entirely on me. I'm not in constant pain, so I don't feel like I need to do anything like that right now. Um, you know, we've been going for walks every other day, you know, and I let my knees rest, you know, a day in between and we, you know, we can go for a mile walk to my walk and I'm okay. We have rain. It's so cool. Barbara, do you have rain up at your place? We had like a half an inch the other day and we have more rain today. Oh, good. Gail's going to go see the chiropractor tomorrow. Yeah, I, I decided to do this book structure like this because I was getting frustrated with the backs even. And a couple of people asked me and I'm like, you know what? I am. I'm going to just do something completely different. And I think this is going to be fun. Terry said, Gail, it's not fun being immobilized. Exactly. 
Diane said I fell and hurt my ribs, fell downstairs. No carpet on the stairs yet. Oh my goodness. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Lucy says I go to aqua aerobics three times a week. It definitely helps. We have low. Yeah, you guys get all the rain. You get all the rain. Sharon says, hope you feel better soon, Gail. I'm having trouble walking today, too. I tried this new concept called exercise. <laughs> it's been a minute. Wow, Barbie, you got soaking for about eight hours yesterday and a little more today. My goodness. We only got a half an inch on, I guess, was that Monday? Yeah, I think it was Monday. Gail said, I'm going for my third round of hydraulic injections in a couple weeks, having to get them every six months to put off replacing my right knee. I already had the left replaced. Oh, my. Hey, Lori. Happy to see you here. What are you working on today? Another beautiful book, I'm sure. I did pull, in addition to pulling um, the supplies for this, I pulled some for a, a Lacey book. Oh, good question. Sue says, Barbara, how was the wedding of the year? Sharon says, I think exercise is a tool we use to get our bodies used to aching, a aging aches and pains. I love it. Michelle, do you have rain over there? Because it's definitely raining here. <laughs> Victoria says, exercise, Sharon. I thought you said extra fries. I love it. Lucy, it was wonderful seeing you. Have a good evening. Yes, the wedding where you guys were the flower girls. Was glorious? Oh, good. Good, good, good. What are some of the high points? Let's see here. Oh, I split that thread. That's not going to work. Yeah, extra fries. I like extra fries more than exercise. This is fries day. Wednesdays is our takeout. So we, we go to Bruno's and get a burger. I usually get the chicken but it's the French fries. And Zoe goes absolutely ballistic as soon as my husband walks in the door with a takeout because she is a fry maniac. All right. Uh, I think we need to come over here. So I think this little book should go quickly, especially if all I'm going to do is couching and knots. I bet I can finish this in a couple days depending. I'm still working on the trees. I am actually approaching the finish line on that one. I got some little tiny, I think they're called applique pins. Um, I can't use them. They're too tiny for my fat fingers. Wedding of the century and we had a ball. Her daughter and sister were in town for it. The whole procession through the Redwood Grove, the groom walking into the theme song for Spider-Man. Oh, wow. Sharon said, are you enabling me to have extra fries with that exercise schedule, Victoria? Yes, yes. Bruno's burger with blue cheese. Hmm. I'm hooked on the barbecued chicken burger. I think my husband gets the SOB. Yeah, it's it's our favorite burger place. Um, have you been down to Malone's, Lisbeth, since they've changed? I've gone a couple times. They're still working some things out. Had the uh, French dip last week, and they forgot to put the juice in, which was the whole point of having the French dip. Barbara said, Spider-Man is his personal mantra, and he and his eight-month-old daughter wore Spider-Man costumes for Halloween. Oh, yeah. Post a picture so we can see. Theme weddings can be so much fun. All right. These little strips of wool. Another one here. This is really cool. I got these um, in several of my earthy colors. They're for... I guess making rugs, they sell them for making rugs, but of course I saw them as other things. All right, where do we wanna go with this one?
Yeah, we had a little bit of wind just a little bit ago, and then it's just like it all just died down. All right, let's see. Oh, I want this guy to hang. That will work. Yes, I haven't tried Malone's recently. Seems like a lot of issues trying to cook more at home. No husband to cook for me. Yeah. Yeah. They had a lot of issues, I guess, when they were first, first take over the, what, whoever it was took over, but they're trying. But I still prefer Bruno's. And I guess fault lines having a lot of issues too. Barbara said, yeah, he made his own Spider-Man costume a few years ago. He was grinning ear to ear as we walked down the aisle toward him, spreading our flower petals. That's, you know, you want a wedding that's just filled with joy. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Sue says, I might need to look. I'll, I'll post the link on that. These were, um, they're really great. And you can get them in like three sizes. So you can do all sorts of things with them. I was actually wondering about getting some in the largest width, which might be like three quarters of an inch maybe and making, using them for a vessel. Ah, I didn't want to say anything. Lori is the one that bought my vessel, my turquoise vessel, and she got it. She said, I got it. The one that's brownies with turquoise accents and it's fabulous. I am so happy. You like it. So happy. Victoria's had torrential rains and winds, and it's definitely not summer anymore. 24 hours of rain for Philippa in New Zealand. Wow. Oh, I am so glad, Lori. You know, it's just when you when I mail something off, there's no um, there's no guarantee anybody's gonna like it. And I, you know, you can go back over to the website and leave a review. My website lets you leave reviews like Etsy does. Yeah, I think you're right, Beth. A lot of the restaurants have um, staff and supply issues. Where's Empire Grill? I don't know Empire Grill. Is that Santa Cruz? Maybe we need one we have to check out. We have not gone to Heavenly Cafe yet, believe it or not. We've been out here for seven years. We need to try them. Not summer for Gale either, although it's warmer than usual right here in North Indiana. But oh my, the falling leaves. Wow. Ah, Victoria says you made it. How could we not like it? You knew you would love it, Lori. Well, I'm glad. I just, um, I'm really trying to step into owning that I do this stuff and that people like them. But, you know, it's hard. Uh, and I know I'm not the only person that, that, has the self-esteem stuff that pops up and it pops up when, you know, we're trying to be, think we're being really in control of our emotions and we think we have a handle on things and then boom, uh, something pops up and we go, wow, evidently I don't have it as much together as I thought I did, <laughs> but I'm trying to step into it more. And I'm grateful because you guys give me all the love, which, you know, I was like, okay, you guys show up, you know, we've got over 30 people here right now watching hanging with us. I appreciate it. Surprised I had so much in this yellowy color. It's not something that I would have normally grabbed. Oh, hey, Beth, one of the things I was going to ask you about lately is, you know, have you noticed um, we went to uh, we went to Abbott's and the Goodwill here in town the other day and boy, they just didn't have much, you know, in the way of fabric or crafty stuff. And actually the Goodwill in town looked really, um, really not great. Oh, Empire Grill is across from Abbott's. Okay. We'll, we'll have to check them out. Yeah, I hadn't been thrifting in ages. And so we, you know, we finally, we went out and I was kind of disappointed. I hit gray bears 
a few weeks ago after I went in for my mammogram because it was right there and got some um, got some thread. Always looking for threads, fibers. I don't want to go over the hill just to thrift, but sometimes I think I should just to get some variety. Sharon says, suburbs nearby were evacuated for flooding late yesterday. Friends boating to their home because they can no longer drive. Water in places I've never seen it before. Oh, my goodness. Yikes. Fiona's got a cuppa. She's a happy bunny now. Good, 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 good. Relaxing end of the evening for you, right? What projects have you been working on, Fiona? Oh, okay. Yeah, it could be maybe focused on um, Halloween and Christmas. It's like I, you know, just walking, like a lot of times I'll go through the clothes. Well, oh, I know what it was in, in Scott's Valley at the thrift store at Goodwill. I used to be able to get a lot of sheets, you know, when for fabric and there was like nothing, I couldn't find anything. And Grey Bears had a very small selection, but I did, like I said, I got some yarn and some fiber, some thread and a few pieces of fabric. I Now I know more what I'm looking for. So it's, um, it's a little bit quicker to shop because I'm not buying things that are not necessarily things that I would be using. Oh, well, that's no fun at all. Fiona's cleaning the kitchen. Sob, sob. Yes, we will cry the tears for you. Crocodile tears. Cleaning, no fun. All right, I can at least get this couching done. I can't believe how slow I am today. That's true. Sheets have gotten popular, especially vintage. Yeah, it's not like I needed anything. I was just, um, you know, hoping to just had a little fun. It was good just to go and wander around. My husband likes to go to Gray Bears because he likes to look at the um, electronic stuff. So we'll probably hit there. Next. They could be sending things to places that have been having flooding. Yeah, I guess. I think, too, maybe people are holding on to stuff. Um, I don't know. Mostly, I like to look at the clothes because you can get, you know, small amounts of a variety of fabric. Sharon says, we're lucky here. Flooding isn't a concern for our home, but not the case for those we know and love. Yikes. Stash building is a legitimate past pastime. You got that right. Absolutely, Philippa. I agree. Lately, I've been doing mine on Etsy, though. I really need to stop. Beth says, I never need anything, but I still go thrifting. Yeah. I had amassed so many napkins, and there are still a bunch of those in the shop. And then one of my friends, um, she's gotten into covering rocks, doing painted rocks and covered rocks. So she's using them as she's collaging the napkins on the rocks and what is it called? Kindness rocks and then leaving them around town. So it was really nice. It was like, okay, somebody else now can use some of this stuff. Yeah. Thrifting is half the fun. My thing is I've been trying to find some sources for some different types of fibers and um, you know, I may need to order from maybe after the first of the year from Australia and New Zealand to get some of it, like pineapple fiber. Okay, and then how does the association not do? Fiona said, I've had to change my diet, so a lot of half-used things needing thrown out, only a few things out of date by a couple of years. <laughs> Sounds like us. Uh, well, hopefully you're feeling better, though, right? That was the whole point of making the changes, I'm guessing. Oh, the blue fiber was gorgeous. Yeah, I should give you a shopping list, right? You hit more thrift stores than I do. I know you have more on the other side of the hill when you go into the office. All right, I want these guys to hang down. Okay, so even though it's a pain doing this with the pins, it did help keep it sort of in the area. Lori said, we have a wonderful Goodwill here in upstate New York. 
Gilderland Tuesdays. Certain items have been there for a month or two dollars each. Yesterday was pan oh fun fun yeah. Our goodwill will do like you know if it's a certain color label, they're on discount. And sometimes I've gotten really good things that way when I was looking for sheets and clothes. Yeah, Diane, extra fries always. Beth, are there any, um, other than Gray Bears, are there any thrift shops in Santa Cruz that I should put on my list to check out? Oh, and I will, I'm going to post this again. Whoops. Ah, hold on a second. I, I said I was going to post something again and it didn't go. Flory's making French fries now. Yep. Okay. And there's the link for um, November Zooms. Those of you that aren't familiar with the Zooms, um, it is a paid event and it's just so that we can keep it a little bit better just for us. Uh, we get together on Zoom and get to know each other at a deeper level. And if you're interested, there's the link to sign up. All right, let's see, almost there. I can always add more tacking down. Abbott's, okay, so we hit the same, same places, Beth, yeah. I kind of thought so. When we lived in San Jose, there was one in Los Gatos that I liked. All right, let's work my way across. Okay, I like this a lot now that it's getting tacked down. Look, always looks so different when it starts getting... Sorry about the mess before. Oh, Fiona. My store cupboard is now looking like a bird feeding station rather than a baking cup cupboard. Oh. It's okay, Sue. You're welcome. That page will always have the link to that month's Zoom session. So you can bookmark that page and just keep checking it. I try to put it up um, at the first of the month, but I had to wait for a couple of other meetings to get settled for November before I could do it. And normally I would do the Tuesday would be the later one because I have a couple people that can't come. I just, I did what I could for this month. You know, if we have a small turnout, we don't. Yeah, it, right down there on Main Street, you kind of, yeah. But I don't worry about, I don't, I will, I'm not going to go over the hill just to go to one thrift store. Oh, go, oh sorry, I just realized, okay, I just realized, okay. The, the one Let's see here. And Hubby is in a meeting, so if you hear him, that's what's going on. All right, and I'm just going to leave that thread. All right, I like this. Okay, so for those of you that came in late, now that I'm not doing this, I can show you. Andrea has it already booked for Zoom. Yay. Yeah, I think I got your payment. Thank you. So see, it's going to go in here. And then there's going to be... I will zoom out. Thank you. I appreciate that. A reminder. I totally forgot that I was so zoomed in. Uh, here we go. All right. Um, so this is one page. It's going to fold like that. And this is the backing. And I'm going to, and there might be some other lacy things too. But I will slow Happy dragon. That's it. I was thinking it had some kind of a dragon name, but I couldn't think of the word dragon. It's like I could see it in my head. So that's like one page that's going to fold here. And then I'm going to do the stitching on the outside. And I'll probably, knowing me, start with um, uh, feather stitch. 
I'll do it every month, Diane. And one of these months might be right for you. If not, it's not, I, I don't like to do a hard sell. It's just letting you guys know it's there. Saying I could, I could shred some sorry to go with it. Now you're Googling San Jose stores to check out. <laughs> I think it's going to be a fun design. I think so. So, you know, I'm going to take <coughs> the next one here and then another one there. And then it's just all going to fold up into itself. All right. But this one, I think I'm pleased with that. I've got some dangling. I always love to have something dangling, you know, and then I can come in as I get close to putting the book together. Do I have any? I must have some threads somewhere. Um, you know, then I can I can tack in some more little threads to hang hang down. And I'm gonna just do like some French knot. And then you don't have to worry about what your back looks like. You don't have to worry about covering your back because it's going to be attached to there. <clears throat> okay, let's pull these guys out of the way. Church rummage sale. Church rummage sales can be great. Usually, the second day you can buy a whole bag for a dollar or two. Boy, when I was a kid, we used to have the best rummage sale across the street once a year. I wasn't into fabric then, but boy, I could get some good stuff. Beth, yeah, same thing. Not much of a shopper for clothes. Well, the only reason I want to do clothes at the thrift store is for the fabric. Ah, uh, thank you, Terry. All right, let's just see if I can get this one pinned down, even if I don't do anything else. Wow, real rain. I am so happy to hear the sound of that. Zoe will be less happy because she's not really a big fan of going out in the rain. She'll do it, but she's not thrilled. Nearly new thrift shop, th thrift store is on Sunnyvale. California on East Mod Street. Oh, wow. Okay, Beth, have you gone to that one? These were some thrums that came from a weaver, so I'm kind of happy to have these. Bye-bye, Anne. We'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, let's add some of this. I know. Don't we have great mods here? They are awesome. Thank you so much, Gail and Terry, for all your hard work. Gracious, this is fabulous hearing that sound out there. If I forget to post the link for the wool strip, somebody remind me. I don't know why this just appeals to me lately. This just little wormy, <laughs> these little wormy things. Uh, yeah, add it to your list. You go check it out. Let us know. Not that we went when my mom was here. We uh, went to the Apple Store, and. I was so glad to get out of there and get away from all the people. I just don't do peopling well anymore. Not at all. I can't remember the name of the shop I got it from. Um, shoot. Hold on, I can get it. I can actually get this. I can do this easy. It's easy. I can look at my orders or purchases. And come on, Etsy. Purchases. Of course, I've got a gazillion things open. I'll share this shop and then you'll find more. Um, <clears throat> eventually I will get to the bottom of it. I bought so much wool 
<clears throat> wool fabric. Uh, oh, and I bought those wool slubs. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Bear with me here. I'm getting there. It's got to be down at the bottom eventually. Ah, this is it. Found it. Okay. That's the wrong window here to come back to you guys. There you go. There's the link for, um, so when you see it, you can find something else. Oh, Folsom would be great. Yeah. Definitely. I remember wanting to hit the stores when we were going up there a lot years ago. It's probably taking me the rest of the time just to get this one. Way too cold to let the fire go out. Oh my goodness, Sharon. Yeah. Burr. Burr. We had our fire going this morning and then I wanted the room warm before I went live and we'll probably have to turn it on again. Andrea said, I find secondhand shops more expensive now. Stalls sometimes sell for less because they do not want to take it back home. Yeah, maybe next summer I might hit like the flea market out here. I have never done that here. Used to do it a lot when I was a lot younger. <clears throat> Fire Mountain Gems. Yeah, Terry, that's where I was going to order. But I literally had ordered um, a small amount from an Etsy shop so that I would get it faster because they seem to take a while to ship. Sharon, the, when we went recently, it was the first time I'd been in a shop in three years. Lori wants to know, from me and everybody, when you bring your clothes home, how do you store them? Do you cut them, separate embellishments? How do you do that? I do. I cut mine apart um, when I bring them home so that I have the largest pieces of material. And I uh, take the embellishments off and they go in one container. The seam, the anything that's got a... a any kind of texture, not texture, um, like it's got a seam. Like I keep the inner seams. I keep all that kind of stuff. They're separate into um, just one big bin out in the garage because I want to do something with them. But I tend to separate all of mine because then I can store my, yeah, take the buttons off. I can imagine dropping a lot there for if you're making jewelry. Deanza Flea Market's pretty good too. Oh, good. Well, you know, I'm, I just, I, I'm very much not wanting to get sick. But I can't quit Etsy. I, I really can't quit Etsy. I'm bad on there. So I was happy to find the, um, this little shop on Etsy for the beads. She's in uh, Arizona, so it's not too far Sharon says, I've only been in a shop a handful of times since before COVID. Whoops. Other than that, maybe twice for supplies, just a quick dash in and out. Yeah. Barbara says, I'm not antisocial, Barbie. I just don't like crowds. Well, maybe a tad antisocial. Yeah. Yeah, Beth, they're still in business. Michelle said, I love cutting up clothes. I just cut up two pillow covers yesterday. We'll post fabric on Facebook later. Yeah. Fiona says, uh, Lori, I strip mine down to parts, then by color. Yep. Andrea says, oh, interesting. I don't um, cut them until I know what I want to use them for. When I cut them, the pieces are never the right size. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> there is that. All right. I'm not going to start couching on this one. I can see I'm already puckering the fabric. 
And again, it's not going to be exactly like this. Gail says, that's what I do when I'm watching TV, cut up clothes. Whoops, I don't know why my thing isn't going ahead. <laughs> Etsy's dangerous. I know, but when I'm looking for these fibers, um, I mean, I go to Conserving Threads, which has wonderful uh, nettle and hemp, but trying to, you know, find something else, some little variety. Michelle said, Andrea, I can never wait. I cut it right away because it's so much fun for me. Gail says, I leave the clothing fabric as large pieces as possible, but better to store them flat. That's actually why I first started doing it. But then I wanted to keep the seams. That was the word I was looking for earlier. The seams separate. All right. I'm probably going to stop here. I'm going to please cross your fingers that I still have a copy of my trailer somewhere since I deleted it off of here since I couldn't figure out my mess up. But here's the beginning and we will see where it goes from there. And I got to decide what I'm going to stitch on the outside. So thank you everybody for hanging with me, for sticking around when I messed up at the beginning and for being just basically awesome and supporting one another, both here and in the Facebook group. I really appreciate each and every one of you. You make my online journey so much fun. You've been tossing seams. Oh, they make great knots and they can make a vessel. Um, they can make a wall hanging so much fun. Bye-bye everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next week. Well, some of you next week. <laughs>